As you can tell from the thumbnail, I vlogged my Seattle trip. I went there to visit with Kat and also did a members meetup. So that was really, really nice. By the way, I am using my brand new mug and it is really really pretty i'm also wearing the new lipstick it's a beautiful beautiful color but it translates a little bit more pinkish on me and i have to say it is my favorite formula so far so if you guys like this one i highly recommend it it's this one rouge allure 198 the color nuance. I wanted to walk you through my vlog because there's a lot of bits and pieces of footages but it wouldn't make sense on its own, not as much anyway. On our way to Seattle, which I didn't vlog because it was just a lot of driving, um, there was a bit of traffic. We hit a bit of traffic and it took us a little longer than expected to get all the way to North Seattle and because everywhere in north america is super far away and cat didn't have access to a car of course i went to pick her up at her family's house so i picked up her and her husband and met up with um, a few of her family members said hi and the first stop that we went to was lunch shake shack <laughs> <laughs> my husband wanted Shake Shack. We don't have Shake Shack here. I know it's just burgers and fries, but they taste really good. So I really, really enjoyed my avocado burger. After lunch, we headed to our hotel and our hotel was also in North Seattle. Yeah, our hotel wasn't ready until 3.30. This is the room. <laughs> what are you doing, Cass? <laughs> Go ahead, just use it. Shortly after we checked in, I got ready and uh, the guys went out for a little bit of shopping so that we can start filming some content, which are all the collab videos that you have seen so far. If you've seen all the collab videos from beginning to end and you followed the order, then you must have noticed that it was really bright at the beginning and then it became really dark because we filmed for hours. So yeah, I think we started around four and we finished around eight. It's so bright outside because the sun sets at uh, close, closer to 8.30 because it's the summer. It's <laughs> so bright outside. Oh, I really like it like this. Oh, maybe because you're closer to the equator. Yeah, yeah. It, every day is the same. Maybe sometimes it's 7, sometimes it's 7.30, but, but here, it's all around. But here it's always like, in the summer, it's like Yeah, in the later, summer it's really then, late. By the time you get to December, it's like by 5 o'clock or something? No, it's by 4 o'clock. No, 5 no. o'clock. It's like, like 4.30, it's already dark. I remember back in school, it was always so dark at night. So it's better than going like in the, like the Yukon, it's like dark all day. In the summertime. By that time, everyone was really tired. I was really tired because I had just driven four hours to get there. But it was really productive and we did a lot on the very first day. The next day, bright and early, woke up, got ready, and that was the day that we were gonna do the members meetup and it was gonna be a full day as well. I have met up with subscribers from locally in Vancouver as well, but it was never really an official meetup, but to actually organize a whole outing and everything was uh, totally different. So that was really, really nice. And like I said, a few of them flew in and just, wow, so amazing that they did that. So yeah. Uh, went to pick up Kat again, her husband, and um, also this time one of her very young family member also wanted to join us. So we picked up everyone and then we headed off to Bellevue, specifically the shops at Bavern. And that is, uh, if you're in the area, that is where they have all the luxury shops. So we're headed to the shops and we have company. <laughs> Look who's here! Hi! Hi. <laughs> yeah, Life Cafe. Not Hermes. No, not yeah, Hermes. it's right, yeah. right by Hermes. There is the Hermes store, which uh, some people call Hermes or Hermes. 
Oh, Hermes. <laughs> I want to say, first of all, so honored and so grateful for the members that came all the way or flew all the way to Seattle. So amazing that everyone took their time and effort to come meet us. I'm also really glad that we had really nice weather. It was warm, it was sunny, but not too hot, which is so amazing. <laughs> okay, let's go in. Right after that, we headed off to Hermes, of course. I didn't really vlog the store. I mean, I had a couple of footages inside the store vlogging myself trying on a member's bag, but I didn't really vlog the store. I just felt bad for doing it. It was such a quiet store, but at the same time, it was, you know, all eyes on us since we were such a loud group in a sense. Um, but anyway, it was beautiful. It had two floors, it had high ceilings, just really, really beautifully done. And I would definitely love to visit it again because my first impression the first time is that I thought it was a small store, but it actually turns out to be a very big store and two stories as well. We just walked in uh, because they were able to accommodate us since it was kind of quiet, but normally I think they do prefer that you make an appointment, so just FYI. I mean, I still think that, um... But you know, even your color looks good on me. Even though I normally don't go blue. I normally don't go for blue, but I think because your blue has a lot of grays in it, it looks gray. So cute. I like this size a lot. And I like the yeah. drop. Yeah, the yes. drop is perfect. Even with my winter coat, I'll be fine. Good choice. We spent about an hour-ish at the Hermes store and then next we headed off to LV, Louis Vuitton. But yeah, the adjustable strap is just too... It's paper It's a good size. It's a good size, right? Yeah. And I like the fact that it's smooth. Yeah. yeah, the zipper helps a lot. But the buckle is. Yeah, the strap doesn't need that extra. Not it's for chunky, you. Right? And then now it bumps. It like yeah. bounces here. Yeah. But it's, it's good. How would you normally wear it though? You would wear it crossbody or just by. I think I would wear it crossbody, <laughs> but um, looks I think because yeah. she's casual today too. Yeah, yeah. Because my outfit with this. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, it's cute. But you're more feminine style. I am. Um, yeah, yeah. It's so opposite. But, but I, no, but I can well, still opposite, I can but. still dress pretty casual. But I think this suits her automatically just because. Oh we had such a wonderful, wonderful essay, and I want to just shout out to her. I don't think she's watching this, but if you ever are to shop at the Louis Vuitton in Bellevue, as for Alexis, she was so wonderfully kind and just um, super helpful. We were a large group again, kind of loud, and um, <laughs> she was very accommodating, very nice. She brought out bags for us to try, and it was super fun. So, of course, one of the bags that all of us were really interested is the Speedy 20 because we were just talking about that on the Luxury Live show. I've never tried one myself and uh, one of the members already owned the bag. And the, the length is perfect. Put it as a crossbody. I mean, the strap is okay because if you're just gonna wear it- Oh, across, yeah, it's actually. It's comfortable yeah. too. Mm, as a crossbody is, is looks a good. good. Bag, actually. I actually Which is what we said. like this length for like my key ball. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because the key ball is so big and yeah. it's too low, you can't even reach it, right? Yeah, I don't like using the actual key And I ball actually stuff. I really like that you can I do have Oh it's nice inside. Yeah. Ooh, red. red. I didn't know it was red. So I have two of these. I just got my Bichetta all oh, no, replaced. Oh, it says May in France. Yes. Um, yeah, that one's made in France. it was this like a 2003 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I found at like a consignment oh. store. Uh, so yeah, I had the chance to try on the Speedy 20 in 
um, the newest version with the strap that is adjustable. Either color was fine, but um, you know, with the adjustable strap, even though it's supposedly better, especially if you are much taller or much shorter, uh, I think taller is the issue. Then you can adjust the strap, make it longer, which a lot of people prefer. But for me, I'm not only just very average height, but I'm also on the slimmer side. So the regular strap would have been just fine and it would have been a lot less heavy because the buckle wouldn't be there. So I actually prefer the older style, which they miraculously had or still have. Yeah. 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 I have FOMO right now too. Ah, she's FOMOing. <laughs> I am FOMOing. It's super cute. Oh so I am FOMOing. You can't even get this. Anymore. Exactly. Yeah. That's cute. Oh my gosh. Hi, vlogging, vlogging. Hi, vlogging, vlogging. Vlogging her vlogging. <laughs> Hi. Okay, try it. Well, I mean, I kind of tried it in the pink, so. Yeah, this 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 is a good color. This is a good color. You guys know how I feel about a nano bag. I love mine to death, my Chanel little nano bag, which one of the member also had. Hers was beautiful in blue color, and as you can see, side by side comparison with the LV one. Like, yeah, well, this one does fit though, but yeah. it won't fit much more after that. Yeah. It's it a lot wider. Like a lipstick next oh, yeah. to the card holder. Yeah. yeah. Deep baby. Oh my god. This I is so know. cute. It's a really good size. Oh my god. It looks yeah, that's good. good. That's the one. That's the one. That color is god. way better. I'm really tempted but I like the other side. Then I need no, maybe I don't want the Fendi one. Another member also tried on the Nano No Way, which they also had stock, which is very rare, but that uh, an LV store has so much stock of the popular bags. So yeah, that was really, really cute. Already pre patina It was a wonderful experience at the store and um, Alexis was very lovely. We probably spent around 45 minutes-ish at the LV store before we left. At that point, we were thinking of maybe just um, heading to the regular shopping malls because everyone was sort of like shopped out, <laughs> luxury shopped out and just wanted to go to a regular mall. But also one of the members who just flew in that morning had to leave, which I was like, oh my gosh, already. And I'm, I just, like I said, I just couldn't believe that people would do that to meet up uh, with us. So that's so wonderful. And so of course we had to take a group photo at least before <laughs> she left. We were heading to the mall only to realize that the gifts that we brought were still in the car. Because I was thinking that the gifts were kind of heavy instead of bringing everything into the shops to just bring it at dinner time and give it to everyone. I didn't realize that one of the member was just gonna leave so early. Good thing my husband remembered and <laughs> instead we had to detour. So anyway, after that detour, <laughs> we went to the mall, to the Bellevue Square, and it's just a regular mall. My husband wanted to check out the container store because as uh, some of you might know, my husband loves his shoes, sneakers especially, and he's, yeah, he's kind of a sneaker head. So he wanted to buy some containers to display and to store his shoes. And then we just walked around the mall for a little bit and everyone was already sort of hungry a little earlier than our reservation time. So we just sort of walked into the restaurant that we were supposed to have dinner um, but a little early which turned out to be the, one of the best things that we did because we were able to catch their happy hour timing which meant that we can get the same food at a discount <laughs> She's super spicy on Instagram too, like showing the people that have the It was a Japanese fusion restaurant called Japonesa. And um, yeah, I thought the food was wonderful. It was in the Lincoln Center. So all walking distance within uh, that mall area. So glad that one of the members was from Seattle. So um, she was able to <laughs> recommend these places for us. So that was so, so nice because it was a 
it was such a nice meal so glad that we were all able to sort of just relax wind down a bit earlier and just um again just hang out everyone together and just get to know each other even more and have wonderful wonderful food after that we pretty much said bye to everyone the next day i was supposed to just like you know run all the errands and then drive back north to canada and i wasn't supposed to see cat again but <laughs> There was a little hiccup because she borrowed my SD card and forgot to give it back to me the day prior. So of course, we had to, you know, kind of rush to meet with each other. They were on their way to catch the ferry to Ana Cortez. Luckily, it was also on our way because, you know, we have to head back more north anyway. And then uh, we just met up somewhere close to <laughs> the outlet shops, which we were going to anyway. So got to see her very briefly again. I guess that was sort of unexpected. But anyway, that worked out pretty well. So yeah, for the last day, I didn't really vlog much. Like I said, it was just my relaxing sort of like <sighs> very intense two days of all kinds of activities. And uh, we ran all our errands for everybody. Um, you know, sort of every family member wanted stuff like I think my mother-in-law wanted something from Costco from the States. Um, my sister-in-law also wanted some um, stuff from Trader Joe's and then you know we just had to run all the errands which we normally do when we do drive down we just buy stuff that we don't have in Vancouver and of course we also had to visit the outlet store because you know all the outlet stores are different everywhere what did I buy oh I bought oh yeah I bought something too forgot almost forgot that I bought something I bought a jacket oh and I also bought some kids clothes yeah, totally forgot about that. I also had a question about my Birkin uh, and especially during this whole trip, I was really able to use it a lot because that was the main bag that I used for three straight days. Um, I didn't use my Della Cavalleria, even though I did bring it. I absolutely love the bag, but is it a bag for an everyday use? No, because it was getting quite heavy by the third day. And also you have to remember that I was taking a lot with me since I was on a road trip. I had my camera and everything in it so it was getting a bit heavy for my arms on the third day which you know on a day-to-day -day basis in my own hometown i wouldn't have to so i still think it's the best bag for me definitely looking forward to another meetup we shall see when the next one will um happen or where and also how big because we decided to just do members so far because you know we kind of know our members pretty well they share a lot about themselves and so it was a mutual safety that we felt i hope you had fun watching this vlog and i'll talk to you guys again very soon next week bye